y'all it's your girl c locked and i'm back with another video so in this video we're going to be talking about how locks can cause you to have dry scalp itchy scalp dandruff such things as that and before we get started into the subject i do want to put out a disclaimer yes i am a loctician but no i am not a dermatologist there is a difference um i mean if you're a loctician that went to you know dermatologist school then yeah but derm i mean uh, locticians are not dermatologists they're just locticians but i'm speaking on myself and also my clients a lot of my clients always talk about how they have itchy scalp after starting their locks and my itchy scalp actually started in the middle of my first journey if you're new here this is my second journey so it started with my um, first journey and now it's like intense with my second journey. So I'm trying to find ways to, um, you know, take away the itchy scalp because we do have locks. So it's not like we can use a whole bunch of stuff in our hair without having to worry about um, buildup. So usually I tell my clients to use ACV and water when they have itchy scalp because ACV has a lot of benefits for your internal and external and it's very good for your hair and your scalp. It throws on your pH balance for your scalp and they usually say that it helps them. So this is what I'm doing here, just using it all around my scalp, spraying it directly to my scalp to see if it will alleviate my itchy scalp. So like I said, I am not a dermatologist, so take this with a grain of salt. But the reason I feel that people with locks have itchy scalp is because we're not manipulating our scalp with a comb or anything like that. We're just letting our hair be our hair. And although locks are very low manipulation, there is manipulation, but not as much as like if you had loose natural hair, it's not like we're combing our hair. So we do know that you shed a whole lot of skin daily. The skin is the biggest organ and it reaches to our scalp. So if you're not, if you have no manipulation to your scalp, where is the dead skin going? It's just sitting on your scalp. And yes, you can wash your hair and such things, but um, I don't feel like that helps take off the dead skin unless you're using something that targets, you know, that or like melts it or like an exfoliant. So if you're not using exfoliant such as like, there's gloves that's out there that has like people use on their body for exfoliation. I feel like if you use that on your scalp, that would help. Or like um, scalp massager, massagers, um, you could use that to exfoliate your scalp, but just washing it by itself, I don't feel like exfoliates it. And I only say this because when I wash my client's hair, yes, I use, um, clarifying shampoo but when i am also doing their hair i could see the like the buildup of the dandruff so the dandruff didn't it got lifted off the scalp but it still sits there so then what it's gonna do it goes i feel like it gets back dry into your scalp so i feel like that's why people with locks majority of the time always experience itchy scalp whether you've experienced it before locks or after locks but i always feel like the clients whom i start their locks they're the ones and also the ones who you know gotten their locks started a couple years ago they always tell me hey what can i use for itchy scalp i've been experiencing this ever since i got my locks started and i feel like that is the reason why people with locks experience that because we what are we exfoliating our scalp with we're not really exfoliating it with anything unless you're using a shampoo that strictly says that it will exfoliate your scalp i always recommend my clients to go to a dermatologist because i don't have the answer i feel like it makes sense the science is there but at the end of the day i really can't tell you what to do with your scalp because i am not a licensed dermatologist but i'm only speaking on what i see because I know so much, I have so much knowledge on locks, so I'm also trying to have knowledge on the scalp as well. So I'm going by what I see, but at the end of the day, I'm not licensed in the scalp area. But that's what makes sense to me. We don't exfoliate our scalp, so that's what creates the dandruff or you know the itchiness, which dandruff causes itchy scalp and such things. So I'm just trying to find different things to do with my scalp 
to alleviate the itch and come back and tell the world, okay, my peoples with the locks, with the itchy scalp, I got a formula for you guys. But until then, I'm just going to try and figure it out. So what I did was rinse out the ACV and originally I was only going to rinse out the ACV but when I rinsed it out I was like well let me go ahead and wash my locks and to be honest with you guys I literally wash my locks once a week because the, sketchy, the itchy scalp is just that intense like I wash my hair once a week and there's no rule like although you'll find locticians tell you oh you shouldn't wash so often you shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do that and probably back then in in the earlier days of youtube when i was on youtube um i probably used to tell you the same thing but me today telling you as a lactician it really there's no time when you should lock i mean when you should wash your hair you should wash it whenever it's itchy so if your hair is itchy but your lactician's like well you have to wait to wash it I don't know you know I ain't gonna tell you what to do I always tell my clients if your locks are itchy if your scalp not your locks if your scalp is itchy go ahead and wash your hair even in the beginning stage and if you're not confident go ahead and look a video up on YouTube or come in and I'll wash it for you but you know financially not everybody just want to come in and get their hair washed and get charged for it even I have videos on how to wash starter locks but if your scalp is itching please go ahead and wash your locks even in the beginning stage don't even worry about the unraveling because there's a certain way to wash it just go ahead and wash it because a healthy scalp means healthy hair so i washed it i've had this on for about i don't know 30 minutes but yeah i went ahead and washed it this is what the locks are feeling like so i gotta wait for this week to see if it helped my scalp at all or or if it didn't help the scalp because I've used ACV on my scalp for itch like once but I didn't continue with it but um we'll see but the scalp is pretty clean right now The middle of my head oh my gosh like the itch is the middle and then the back is where it itches the most so I'm trying out different things so I could come back and tell you guys okay this is what helps because we need some type of mani manipulation to our scalp so we can get rid of all the dead skin that sits on there I'm pretty sure that's what's causing the um, dandruff so I'm going to definitely let you guys know what I come up with, but yeah. If you are a dermatologist and you don't mind sharing if I'm correct in what I said in this video, please drop it down below in the comment section. If you are a person with locks and you've experienced itching after starting your locks also, please drop that down in the comment section below or any concerns that you would like to ask me as a lactician. You can drop that down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys in my next video.